In this problem, a person who is in a bucket is acting a force on the rope of the pulley downward. So this force that she is acting on the rope is downward. Let's say F. Okay. In order to raise herself upward at constant speed. So here is important. Constant speed and Whenever we see constant speed at problems, it means acceleration is equal to zero. We can immediately conclude that, okay? So the mass of the person plus the mass of the bucket is given, and at that is 72 kilograms. We are supposed to find the magnitude of this force. We are supposed to find the magnitude of this force, which is downward. Because part A says, how hard must she pull downward? So that is important. The direction also is given, downward. Okay, so let's solve this problem. So when she acts a force on the rope of the pulley downward, based on the law of uh, Newton, also the force... The, the rope also acts the force the same magnitude but with an opposite direction on her hands and since the direction of this force is downward so the direction of the force that is acted on her hands by the rope is upward okay opposite direction and that is shown by t tension force tension force from the rope on her hands and since this rope is the same rope in the pulley is the same rope so the this tension force is all along the way uh, along this rope and it also appears at this this side on this side of the uh, system in this side of the rope and here also we will have the tension force and why do we uh, write the direction of this tension force upward? Because on free body diagram, remember that if we consider this part as a system, okay, this part as a system, we need to draw the external forces on the object. So, and the other force, there is another force also, and that is a gravitational force which is acting here. And let's see if there is any other forces which we have not included in this system. No, there is no any other forces. Let's now draw it in a better way, in a neat, tidy and neat way here. So, let's say we have a square which has 72 kilogram kilograms mass and there is an mg acting on that and there are two equal tension forces acting on this object upward vertically upward okay vertically both are upward and the magnitude of this t is the same as the magnitude of this so remember here is the important acceleration is zero so therefore we need to deal with the uh, sigma f y is equal to zero because there is no acceleration and why we say y because we are talking about the y axis vertical axis based on the frame of reference our frame of reference okay vertically upward and downward so here again forces, therefore forces upward positive, downward negative, T plus T minus Mg is equal to zero, okay? These two tension forces are equal, so therefore we can just add them up. We say 2T is equal to uh, Mg, which if we... Uh, write the magnitude of if mg it will be equal to 72 kilograms times g is 
10 or 9.8 so let's take it 9.8 meter per second squared which will be equal to if we multiply these two numbers we will get 705.6 newtons okay therefore t which is the tension force will be equal to 700 5.6 newton divided by 2 which is equal to 352.8 newtons okay so this is the magnitude of tension force so let me write it the magnitude of tension force newtons but the force therefore force is the opposite direction because force that the person is acting on from by her hands on the rope is downward and the directions are different so if i want to write it clearly very accurately i need to write therefore f will be equal to a negative 352.8 newtons because this is downward and this negative shows the direction of this force which is acted downward and if you are just only concerned about the magnitude, so we can say the magnitude of this force is 352.8 newtons, right? But it's better to include the negative because the direction is downward. The person is pulling downward, so the direction is downward. That's why it's negative. It must be negative. Now, this is part A. So part A is done now let's move on to part b and see what is part b part b says if she increases this force by 15 percent what will her acceleration be the mass of the person plus bucket is 72 which is used in both parts okay so it means that the force that she acts so let's say it's f prom is equal to uh, so let's say one plus zero point fifteen f okay because this shows the increase fifteen percent increase right so uh, it will be equal to let's say uh, one point fifteen times negative 352.8 newtons which will be equal to negative 405.72 newtons okay so this is f okay but uh, t which is the tension force is opposite it has a direction which is opposite to the direction of this force this force is acting up downward but f prom but t which let's say t prom is acting upward tension force from the rope on her hands so therefore we can say uh, t prom is equal to minus or negative f prom which is equal to 405.72 five newtons okay so this is the magnitude of t, t prom the t that has changed because the tension force also changes so here we are supposed to find the acceleration what is the acceleration when we have the acceleration because in the previous case as you remember at this force that we calculated just calculated the motion was a uniform motion because we didn't have any acceleration but here we will have the acceleration therefore we will be dealing with the second law of newton sigma fy is equal to m a so again uh, we will use the same free body diagram that we used earlier 72 kilograms 
mg we have mg which the uh, mg is equal to here 705 point uh, 705.6 newtons and here we have two t prom upward okay going upward and more importantly more importantly there is an acceleration here there is an acceleration so now we are supposed to find this acceleration what is the magnitude of this acceleration okay let's just go ahead and write it so again we have two T prom plus T prom okay minus mg heading down negative heading up positive is equal to m a this is the equation that we need to write down so therefore it will be 2 T prom minus mg let's write it again is equal to m a which will be to the prompt will be equal to two times uh, this value which is here 405.72 newtons minus 705.6 newtons is equal to 72 kilogram times a which is the acceleration so here we will have uh, if we calculate this all together we will get 105.84 and here we will have 72 kilogram a therefore we will get acceleration is equal to uh, 1.40 seven meter per second squared and as you see acceleration is positive because it's accelerating uh, is accelerating upward okay all right thanks for watching this video